We had temperatures here get down in the like minus four Right, it's not range. good, not good. Don't like it. So we went south. And when we went south, you got us a place to stay. I started looking around areas, things that we could do, mm -hmm. and I found a place where we could gator hunt. That's right. Not foreign <laughs> to us folks, us country folks. That's what we do. It's something we've never done. Something we had never done. It was on that's my right. bucket list. So I started calling around and finding some things. I was catching a few fish down there mm -hmm. and having fun. So I found a guy named Grayson. Very nice. Wonderful outfit. We're cooking gator tonight. You know, one thing We're, different though, what? a gator can eat you. The fish and the deer don't want to eat us. That's the only thing different about that. You know, I thought, <laughs> well, wouldn't it be lovely if I got out there and he got a hold of this arm? That's right. That's why you get a guide, right? That's why you get a guide. That's right. So there's no danger involved here. You get on this huge swamp buggy. 15 feet in the air. And you're looking for gators. Now you're in the swamp. Mm -hmm. So we're looking out there and we're seeing some wild boar and all kinds of different critters, so turtles and so on and so forth. So we were looking for a target species that we could bring home and we finally found one. And this gator was pushing nine foot. Now you can see in the distance here, that's some water where he was. And he let himself be known by bringing his nose up. Mm -hmm. So I had to wait until the opportunity arose to, to make that shot. Great shot, by, by the Thank way. Thank you very much. And then Grayson had to go in and once, once they're taken, they kind of sink to the bottom. He had a big treble hook where he could bring it to us, to the land. Right. And then the whole process of taking this gator, this wonderful meat. And when you talk about the gator, well, I'm gonna let Grayson tell us what parts of the gator you can eat. And here's Grayson right now with this beautiful gator. A living dinosaur right here in Florida. 100%. I have driven past you a million times to go saltwater fish, and this is finally kind of a dream come true. It's off my bucket list. A lot of people might look at that and say, oh my goodness, you can't be killing gators in Florida, they're endangered. Not too long ago, that may have been the case, but I trust your DNR to say we can do this. Absolutely, yes sir, yeah. We have uh, three different types of programs that you can harvest alligators in the state of Florida. Uh, one of them is a nuisance program. That's generally, hey, I've got an alligator in my pool, they need to come get him. Um, they have a public lottery system with a public season and then we're on private land, they have a private land program as well. But gotcha. they estimate the population in Florida over a million. Wow. And, uh, and seems to be continually growing. They have done a great, great job of what they do, how they do with the alligator. And uh, alligator management program has really, really done a good job. Now this guy, is I stepped him off, he's about eight foot. Yes, sir. And yep. we talked earlier, to the best of our knowledge and other biologists, you say it's about, about a foot a year? Um, there's a couple different reports and, and a variety of biologists have a variety of different opinions on, on their age. But generally what I've read and what I usually quote is under ideal circumstances, a foot a year till they reach sexual maturity, six to eight years old. Then it's a half a foot a year till they reach their genetic predetermined length. Genetically, they're going to grow just like any other animal. You, I, they're only going to grow so long. They don't just grow forever right, and ever. A lot right. of people think that, but they don't. So this gator's, you know, at a minimum, I would say... Uh, eight years old, he could be 10, 12 years old, something like that. Now, typically you think about tail meat and we're gonna make a wonderful recipe out of this because gator is good. Absolutely. And we talked about this extensively the other day. I think it's best fried. Just, it's just, you can try anything in the world you want, but it's awful good fried and it's good smoked. We <clears throat> smoked one one, a yes, smaller sir. one. Yep, well, you know, gator, it, it is a seafood. Um, it's in the seafood family. It actually falls under regulation seafood wise. And um, so, you know, there's tail meat, um, then there's leg meat, that's your red meat. Mm -hmm. um, there's belly meat, that's also your red meat. Then you have a little bit of a back strap, and then you have the jowl meat on both sides, and what we call the collar, which actually goes that way on the alligator. So, right. Yep. Bulk of the meat's in the tail, a lot of other meat that goes with it too. Well, thank you so much for hosting us and bringing us down here and letting me realize a bucket list. I might not drive past you next time I'm going through. Well, I hope you don't. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Yes, sir.